today i would want us to discuss about this whole um why african americans are are relocating back to the motherland back to uh, cable land uh back to the continent you know prior to this time the only thing that has been propagated by the western media is how poor and um, barbaric and um, wicked the people in africa are how um forsaking the land has become of course they wouldn't show you what they should show you because they want to keep you back there we all know it's not a story anymore that america and other parts of the world were built on the backs of black slaves when i talk about black slaves i talk about african slaves uh, those who were taken out of the continent and uh, a lot of persons really till up to this up to this time sorry do not still know where they are from do not still know anything about their origin some are still striving to get to know some are just getting fragments of who they really are now the reason why the effort is so so much to hinder you from coming back to the continent is because they know when you are off they become nothing because when you look at the, the, the sectors, those who are in a sector where things are really working, when things, where things are really happening, the sector where you need to build your brain, you need to use your strength, it is the melanated people. It's not story to you anymore. I think I keep bringing this up here on this channel. I keep showing you where these people sit down and analyze the melanated and themselves. And they came to the conclusion that the melanated are smarter, the melanated are wiser, the melanated are stronger physically, spiritually. The melanated, everything about the melanated is above who they are and what they are. Now, for people who knew very well that you are more than them, definitely they always want to use something to keep you in control, to keep you in check so you don't get over. And they fully know that when they allow you to keep coming to the continent or to come to the continent, they know the power that is going to come off this angle. That is why it is best for them to keep telling you reasons why you should remain there. No, there are not good roads in Africa. But for some of you who have come down, you know what you should know. And you feel the connection. Now, let's just forget about all those physical things. Let's talk about the spiritual aspect. You are more connected to your source, to your origin, to your foundation when you are in the motherland. There is this feeling you have in your system when you are in a place where it's the same as you like. You are in a place where you originally came from. You are in a place where your source is living in. Your source is present. Of course, you're going to see the difference. So let's go right to some of the statements some African Americans made and um, the reasons why most of them are coming back. Some gave their state their own uh, reasons why they are returning back to the motherland and the rest of them. Name of African Americans are choosing to move to the African continent. We begin this hour with the story of an African country opening its arms to black Americans. There are 5,000 black Americans who've already gone back to Ghana because they don't feel comfortable here. I feel much more connected. That the nation has the hospitality of second to none. Sanchez weeps. This is her homecoming. When you see them people, they look just like your family. I was like, whoa, whoa. this is nothing like they told us. It was amazing to be a welcomed I mean it just it blows me away in the last few years thousands of black Americans have returned from America to live in Africa and in this video I'm going to show you several video clips uh, which is going to be uh, what these people who have actually returned to Africa, to live in Africa, uh, have to say about Africa versus United States. Anyway, we have to get into it. I was living what people would consider the American dream. I was educated, professional, had friends. I was a socialite, but I never felt safe. She was constantly looking over her shoulder. My immediate thought all the time was, oh my gosh, you know, what if a police officer pulls me over? Am I going to be physically safe? Am I going to come out of it al alive?
a retired American teacher who had lived in Memphis all her life never thought she would leave. But in the summer of 2017, she experienced what she calls a wake-up call. I'm, I was 57 at the time, and I was stopped by the police, six cars. They said my car was stolen, and um, they put me in cuffs. And I was like, this is saying that it's time for me to go. Two months later, she decided to leave the U.S. for good. And that's how it was with me. I called home while I was here the first week, and I said, I'm not coming home. How did they respond? They said, be careful. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, it's more dangerous in the U.S. than it is here. I mean, it's peaceful. The people are inviting. They're welcoming. Racism is there, staring you in the face. And I am not sure if there's any way around it or out of it or anything that will fix it. And this is the reason why we left. The cost of living keeps you working, and you never get a chance to come back. I know there are people that have been in America for decades. They're struggling to make ends meet. They're trying to pay their rent. You get so caught up in paying bills. You don't have time to save. As black Americans, we're starting to come to the realization of our place in America. We're coming to understand that America was really never meant for us to be there as free people. In a sense, that's why you left America. It's yes. to reclaim yourself. Exactly, exactly. I would be here all day if I was telling you all the experiences that I had with racism in the United States, really from being followed in stores, to being pulled over by police for no reason, um, to not being off a job. I'll be here all the day, explaining to you on a daily basis what it is like to be black in America. I feel much more connected and I look at people and I say, oh my goodness. Um, you know, that could have been, these people could be related to me. These people probably knew my grandmother's grandmother's grandmother. If I'm honest with myself, I wasn't living in America. I was doing in America. I could hardly breathe. Um, what kept ringing in my head while all this was going on was safety. Now, not just the safety for the present, for the moment, but the safety of the future. All right, and peace of mind, peace of mind where you will be and you will not just be um, stopped, where you will be and you know already that you have a right to be there. All right, I know some African Americans will say that um, they built America so they have a right to read. This thing is not, um, you already know, your majesty, is that these people would not just own up to that. They wouldn't just give you that right, no matter how you fight for it. Yes, you feel America is a place where human rights is practiced. But when you go down to the core, you know already that human rights, when they talk about human rights, they talk about a white person. That is where human rights is seen. But when it comes to a melanated, there is nothing like human rights because they deprive you of everything that is of your rights. All right? Now, like what someone said that... You just look at people and you just feel that these are the people that know my great-grand-grand-grandmother, my great-grand-grand-grandparent. There is this connection you feel within yourself. There is this feeling you have inner of you and you feel I'm home. This is home. This is home. Um, al Kebulan is not as bad as the mainstream media paints it or want to paint it to you. al Kebulan is not as... I don't know if you get the point I'm trying to make. They have tried their best. They have tried everything to deprive you of coming. Now you should see reasons why you should even want to come the more. Because when they try to deprive you of something, they try to give you the other picture of something is because they know that the truth is hidden. And the reason why they hide the truth is to deprive you of something. Which they know when you get to know of it, you will not be the way you are. You will never be the same. They are aware of these things. 
then know that when we come together and stop going out you know when i talked about um uganda and uh, what they're doing to the president of uganda and others where they revoked their visas and the rest of them america revoked their visa because of lgbtq whatever i think the the president said it loud and clear that i think it's even better they revoked all their visas and i said it in that video that if they can revoke the visas of all the presidents in our cable land, of all the government officials in our cable land, it would do our cable land good. But they wouldn't do that. Because they know they're going to cut off their... They wouldn't do that, your majesties. Because they're indirectly telling us, okay, be on your own, we're going to be on our own. So how do they, would they come and steal what they, they keep stealing? How would they have the upper hand to keep controlling our, our leaders? They're just doing that just to frustrate the Ugandan people and other Al Kebulan uh, people who are kicking off LGBTQ. That is the reason why. They know that when we are together and forge that connection, Your Majesties, there is nothing that they can do to us that is going to be of any havoc to the melanated people. Mind you, their target is not just al -Kabulans. their target is on all the melanated so if you're a melanated and you're on any part and you feel you are safe because you are closer to them your majesty she doesn't even know what they are already doing to you now i think this is the reason why we have to kick back to the dream of marcus Garvey, the unity of all black people on the continent back to africa sorry the unity of all black people in the world back to africa because it is in africa that we have the power to create whichever body we want to create and forge whichever alliance we can forge and you know when that happens your majesties <laughs> you know when that happens all right what will happen after that so leave your comment and thought there at the section what do you think about relocating back to the continent um what are the trials you're going through because i think i've uh, some of you have left some comment for me some sent me emails on how they're striving to come but the government is trying to frustrate their efforts this thing is not as easy as we see it oh come to akebula and then you think you pack your things and start coming there are there are procedures which you have to go through of course and for those melanated al lands, africans who are making it difficult for our brothers and sisters outside to return what are we doing? If you're one of them, be it you are an immigration officer, be it you are a government officer, be it you are a body, a government body, trying to frustrate these people who are returning. I think we have to think twice about it. Because the more we frustrate them, the more they keep remaining there. It's not that some of them don't want to come back. They want to return. But why are we making it difficult for them to return and stay? And I hear something where some persons are like, they're, they're, they're asking them to pay some amount of money. Come on, Africans, your majesties. These people are originally from the continent. It wasn't their wish to be taken away. They were forcefully taken away, your majesties. I think what we need is mutual understanding. Mutual understanding. And genuine love for one another. When these two are present... There is nothing that we cannot achieve as the melanated people. Leave your comment and thought there at the section and I will see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always. Bye for now.